Did you guys know that fashion is the second most polluting industry in the world? 25% of the world's chemicals are used in making textiles. Today, I'm gonna show you not how only you can save money by shopping your own closet, but also help save our planet. Welcome back to Secrets of a Stylist. For those of you who don't know me, my name's Kim, I'm a fashion stylist, and for those of you too, welcome back. I love you guys, I feel like Friday is my favorite day of the week, I hope it's yours. Before I get into this video, if you guys have not subscribed to my channel, I want you to subscribe, it's free to do it. Hit that red subscribe button down below, and remember to hit the little bell beside it, because that will notify you when I've posted a new video, and it will show up in your mailbox, and you can watch it. This is something that I actually feel really passionately about. I feel like, even though I am a stylist, I'm out there, I'm teaching you how to shop, how to dress your body type, the thing is, it can be extremely wasteful. And like I said, a lot of chemicals and a lot of money and a lot of pollution goes into making clothes. And a lot of your money gets wasted on clothes. So I'm gonna give you tips and tricks today that you can to teach you how to shop in your own closet. Tip number one, the very first thing, get organized. Clean out your closet. You can legitimately not shop in your own closet if it's a total disaster. Imagine going into a store and there's just stuff everywhere, it's disorganized, shoes aren't together. How could you possibly shop? You couldn't. So it's the same rule applies for your closet. I have a bunch of videos that I've done about organizing a closet. I will leave a link down below. I've cleaned out closets and done videos on it. And I've also done videos on how you can do it for yourself. So check those out. That is the first place to start. Tip number two, learn to fix anything that's damaged. So when you're cleaning out your closet, you get in there, maybe you have a sweater or a shirt, it's missing a button. Instead of just throwing that like, oh, I got this at Topshop or I got this at Zara or I've had this for a year, instead of just throwing it into like a donation pile or garbage pile or whatever you do, why don't you take five minutes to Google how to sew on a button if you don't know, grab a sewing kit. If you don't have one, the dollar store has them. In my stylist kit, I actually have a few sewing kits and they're from the dollar store. If you're at a hotel, they have sewing kits. Google it, how to sew on a button. Sew the button on, done. If it has a stain, take it, go put some stain remover on it. Like fix the clothes that you have when you're cleaning out your closet, take notice and fix them, clean them up, give them some love and put them back in. You don't need to just throw them out. Tip number three, this is something that I literally do all the time. I've been styling for years. I style red carpet, I style magazines. I have tons of experience. It's something that I do if I need inspiration, I Google the item. So let's say you're in your closet and you have a white blazer. You've had the white blazer for two years and you just feel uninspired, it keeps hanging there. This is literally what I'll do. I'll type in white blazer street style. You have to type in straight style. If you just type in like, let's say it's the brand is like Vince or H&M or whatever. If you type in Vince white blazer or H&M white blazer, what will come up is all of the stores images. And those aren't necessarily always helpful. So if you type in white blazer street style or um, white blazer with dresses or white blazer with pants, up will come a million images and you just flip through those. And sometimes you'll see something like right now, this season belting is a huge. It came down the fall runways. So maybe you'll see a bunch of different belts around a white blazer. Maybe it's something that works for your body type, that style, or maybe you'll see something else. For example, like a minty green is in this fall. So you might see the white blazer come up with like a minty green colored shirt underneath. And you won't have thought of that because that color wasn't trending before. So. Googling the item and Googling a few of your favorite items in your closet will really help get your creativity started and you help you find other ways to wear that item. I literally do this all the time. I'm not joking you. Sometimes I'll even do it with like my black pleated skirt. I'll be like black pleated skirt street style. Okay, millions of images. I'm like, oh, I've never done that. That looks cool. I like that. That works for me. And off I go to like investigate and find those things in my closet. So Google the item in your closet and you will get inspiration. Tip four layer seasonal clothing. You might be watching this video in current live time or maybe you're binge watching and you're seeing this in another season, but currently we're about to move into the fall season. So what typically happens right now is you have a bunch of these summer dresses or like long maxi dresses. So a great thing to do in order to give them some longevity and shop in your closet, put on that long dress, Google, long maxi dress, whatever the brand is, whatever the color, and then you can type in with sweater or 
fall style long maxi dress and then you will see a bunch of ideas so throwing on like a big comfy like turtleneck sweater over your long dress can look really cool you'll need to know how to balance those booties but if you google that and layer those summer products moving into fall you'll be able to use them a lot longer you do not need to go to the stores to go find yourself some new fall dresses use the ones that you currently have in your wardrobe and if you've been following along with me for long enough, you'll know that I always talk about shopping the basics. So you should have a bunch of dresses in your closet in the basic colors that can move from season to season. Ask a friend to browse your wardrobe. This is actually something that's really fun. So now you've gone in, let's say we're coming into fall, you wanna get some new items. I'm suggesting you shop your own closet. You've organized, you've Googled, you've pulled out your favorite pieces, you have fixed pieces. Now you're gonna go in, ask a friend, have them come over for wine, let them go through your closet because sometimes your friends see things differently than you do. I do this all the time with my friends. I have a couple friends that I'll go in and I'll be like, I love this blazer. You should wear this with this skirt, with these pants, with these shoes. My friends will be like, wow, that's crazy. I've never done that. I'm like, yeah, that's how I see it. So I see it differently. And even my friends have picked up my stuff and been like, I totally see this with these shoes. I'm like, oh, I've never thought of that. It's a great idea. So sometimes your friends have a, give you a fresh energy on the pieces that are already in your closet. These things are honestly so fun to do. I want to hear about them. Leave me a message down below. Let me know if you've shopped your own closet and what you found. And also let me know what Google images you found. So if you had like a camo jacket and you Google that and you found a new way to wear it, I want to know. Remember you guys, if you enjoy these videos, hit that red subscribe button down below. There is hundreds of thousands of you guys watching this and a small portion of you guys that is subscribed. Where are you all coming from? Why aren't you subscribing? I will show up in your mailbox every Friday along with a list of all of the products that I'm talking about down below. So you don't have to like drop down on the menu and find it, it'll just come right to your email. Anyway, I hope you guys have a fantastic week. I'm looking forward to hearing your comments. I love you all and I will see you next Friday.